to telling inspiring stories, sharing experiences from your own personal. You know, how many stories are there every year of staff that go above and beyond and they do these superhuman, wonderful, compassion things and they never get recognized for it? I remember too, uh, just at the time of Katrina, I came out to a hospital in Florida and I heard the story about a patient from New Orleans that had been transferred here, as all patients were out of the, out of the state, and a nursing aide went down to introduce herself to this older lady. And she said, if there's ever anything I can do for you, you call me. So she was there for about a month and was getting transferred to Dallas and called the, the uh, nursing aide and said, uh, you know, I haven't had my hair done in a month. Could you get my hair done? So this nursing aide, who, by the way, worked 30 hours a week at this hospital and worked another 30 hours a week at a dollar store to look after her three children, came in on her day off did the hair for this lady, bought her an outfit from the dollar store, and didn't say anything to anybody. So I heard about it just by second hand. And I was speaking to 120 managers the next day, so I had her brought in. We had the manager tell a story. They brought her up front, we gave her flowers, and gave her a standing ovation for three minutes. Tell those stories. It's good for the heart. It reminds us why we are in customer service. Focus. You can never go wrong by focus on making a difference. It's not about the pay. It's not about the work. It's about the highest form of relationship there is, and that is being in service to another human being. What a wonderful thing, unconditional service to another human being. What, what is more important in life than that?